All right. Oh, sweet sirens of sands, my Makote muse. Why have you forsaken me? T Titan's bane, I mean, meteor. What brings you to my humble resort? Flamine, you mean to tell me the goddess made flesh who dwelt among us until so very recently was the songstress of Luna? God's man, if I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never let her leave. I mean, asked her to stay kindly. Oh, for shame. To think that she now plies her trade for the riffraff off to the west or whatever she said she was going. It's a tragedy. I say a tragedy. I should chain more women to my bed out of precaution. West, is it? <laughs> yes. What? Did you say West? Thank you, Master Gigaruju. Your information will serve us well. That said, there are any number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge to spare. I would be most appreciative if you could travel on to Wineport and do the same. I'm, after all, so brave to be standing out in the rain. So needy. All right. Thankfully, I can fly. This was the crap in ARR as a story skipper that was not fun. Not fun. You're like, wait, I run up here to take this over so I can talk to more people? This isn't gameplay. Let me at least, like, kill five pigs. You know? Something. It's an MMORPG. I want to, like, talk to people, pick up some things, kill some things. This is just talk, 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 talk. Uh, nope. Let's get out of the rain. It's wet out there. Oh, hey, guys. Well, if it's Meteor, the savior of Wineport, to what do we owe the pleasure? Oh, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. Oh, she was a delight to behold, to give the woman her due, but her perfume was so ghastly. I had no choice but to eject her from the premises. Interfering with tastings, you understand. If she is your quarry, why not consult your blind associate? His olfactory perception is without peer. Given that I could smell the woman from a mom away, I dare say he could smell her from ten. Oh. Okay. Hey, buddy. Um, I don't think you're our... You're not our blind friend. Eh? Uh, what? You want to know if I've seen a Makote lass by the flame of Flamine? I wish. I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. Oh. Well, I'm glad I flew up here to talk to you, then. I feel like we should have just gone straight to the blind guy. I see you have uh, many grand adventures since we last spoke, Meteor. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does not forget about a perfume like that, so robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. <laughs> I said as much when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south into Raincutcher Gully and then head east after crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent, you see. If you make haste, you may fi yet find her there. So... Raincatcher Gully as a 
as a place. It's kind of weird. So we've got Hidden Falls over here. So Raincatcher Gully is, is a big... That's a vast description. So we've got the Ageless Wise. So the Ageless Wise up here, Calamity Affected. Castrum Ocidence, which we just took out as part of um, Project Archon. So we just wrecked this after killing Riddaton at Cape Westwind. So this is all dead. So all these people are gone or destroyed. Like that's, I don't know. It doesn't do a good job documenting that. This river here is the Ageless Wise, named because it flows the Ageless River, because it flows to the Ageless Wise. Right? So we've got these docks, and that takes you out to the sea. So that takes you out, like, right here, into the Strait of Merle Thor, which is handy. What's odd about the Ageless River is that you see it flowing north. So you think, okay, well, where does that come from? And if we follow this river to its source, we come across another dock. Right? And I think it's all the way back to Red Mantis Falls. I believe Red Mantis Falls right here. Goes up here. Okay. But Brayflock's long stop is here. So when you look at sources, there's not this is there's not gonna be a good map of this. Um this is Camp Bronze Lake by upper and outer Lenosha. Right here. I think this dumps out down to the Ageless. And I believe that it flows through Brayflox first. So it comes through Brayflox, services Red Mantis Falls. But what's odd about this river is the Ageless River is also present in central Middle Denosha. Right here. So it's also dumping down to Limsa. And it's not super clear how it's doing that. Because that means it's flowing both north and south under the same name. As opposed to, this is called the East Ageless, based on the fishing log. This is just called Ageless. So I think this is what defines Raincutcher Gully post-Calamity. Because I believe this is not well documented. But I, I believe this actually probably has an underwater portion. Or something like that. Or splits up here, maybe. Just by the, by the Mantis Falls. And goes into Raincatcher Gully. And down into Middle Inosha. But they didn't name them two different things. And it would have gotten its name post-Calamity. It did not exist pre-Calamity. So it's a Calamity-defined river. I don't know why it only got one name. So for him to say... Ageless River isn't helpful. Or to say Raincatcher uh, Rain Gully. Because Raincatcher Gully is all of this. What a mess. The geography in this game is really hard to keep up with. Here we go. Oh, hi there. Oh, Hori Gubu. Is Hori a family name? Like, like Hori Boulder? Is this really Minfilia's mom? Is that for real? Mm, I am in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the Gubu's ire until it was too late. You didn't even realize it then. You didn't turn around while I fought. <laughs> Their oils can be used to make a perfume, you see, and I... Yeah, I know. I know about it. People, you got kicked out of a winery for that. <laughs> F Flamine, I'm... I don't... Who are you? Whom do you serve?
it appears you've already found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. The songstress of Ulda, I presume? Minfilia, or should I say Asilia, is looking for you. Asilia? You are the very picture of health, milady. yet the world thinks you dead. I can only conclude that was by design. The question is, why? Oh, not everyone who endeavors to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You'll be, you'll be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Minfilia when the time is right. Oh, well, that does please me more than you know. But tell me, sojourns in the forest of Lenosia aside, when exactly will be the right time? Oh, when I deem it so, young child, do you imagine I traveled all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity, or would you like to interrogate me further? My, my apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now that we have all which we came for, might we continue this conversation in a safer locale? Wineport, say? Do you not listen to anything? She can't go to Wineport. She ruins the tastings with her old lady perfume. We were told this. He's like, no, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's going to be totally fine. Plumbing's in her 30s. How old was she when she had Menphilia? Isn't Menphilia like 23? If, if, if Flamine's her mother, isn't Flamine then, like, logically at least in her 40s? Just, just from math? Did I read that wrong? Or is it not mother? Did they say sisters? I picture old lady perfume. That's what I think is happening. Like an overly floral... Menphilia was 12 when she was adopted. I think she wears an old lady perfume. She's got gray hair. No. Plus, we don't have enough old people in this game. Now, we could have gone inside in case it rained, but no. Let's just land here. Let's just stand here in the rain. Ugh, this. This is not at all how I had envisioned it. Well, the rain stopped. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Minfilia's heart when she reunites with her mother after all these years. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, there's something about that that says youth. There's something about gray bangs and gray ears that says not young. And she's got like the, the little glasses. No. Alphano probably dyes his hair white because he's pretentious and wants to look wise for his years. I had a friend like that in college that put white streaks in his year, hair. Because he thought it made him look more wise. Brian said 20 minutes. We got plenty of time. She's adopted? Well, she's still old. She's still old. She's old in my playthrough. <laughs> Guys, I made... I made Baderon from, like, Nacogdoches. If we're gonna if we're gonna think that I made Flamine a decade too old, like there are gonna be more offensive things to come, I promise. I promise. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay, yes? I have an old lady voice and old lady perfume. Perhaps we should take the bus to go see her. I have kept her waiting long enough. 
Let us be off on the next ferry. I don't want one of these young person etherite travels. They make you so queasy. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Waking Sands. The more you guys tell me how young she is, the older she's getting. She's getting older by the second. That's how time works. She's going to be 90. It's happening. Alright, here we go. Hey. I met your 85-year-old adopted mother. Does that get a reaction out of you? Antecedent, you have a guest, and we had to pray return for the, like, 16th time. L la mean. Ah, uh, Celia. Oh, dear. Get over here. Put on some clothes, child. Also, your boobs are way bigger post 1.0. Mm, yes, the calamity. The calamity caused a lot of weird things. Go look at pictures of pre-calamity Menphilia. I haven't seen her like this in years, Meteor. I... I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead, but... What kept you away for so long? Oh, the Imperials came for me, and as I always knew they would, and uh, so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, and age quite a bit, lest their pursuit of me endanger you ever and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue it you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success, and celebrated, in secret. I'm so proud of you, Asilia. <laughs> I learned from the best. I have a gift for you. Oh, Celestinia perfume, you remembered. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If ever I lost sight of you, I could find you again, just by following my nose. I did not think it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. <laughs> it was no trouble for me, my darling. I fear I cannot say the same for Meteor, however. I could not have made it without him. <laughs> Thank you, Meteor. Thank you both. There's something else, child. Oh, th this is the cat's eye I found. All these years, you kept it. My father was a member of the all Amigan Resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Uldar. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lamin who took care of me then. She raised me as her own. Taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm. I'm no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know, mostly unimportant things, about you and your mother both. <laughs> One of her le first lessons uh, concerned mining. I was a very dedicated student. This cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but 
I was exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. So I gave it to Lamine as a gift. She said it was beautiful, but there I, I am at a loss. Why are you returning to this to me? Is something amiss? <laughs> no, Acelia. <laughs> Nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come. How much further you may still, must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I ever could have hoped. You have succeeded where I failed, and made me so proud that, that words fail me. Even as I marvel at the woman you've become, and at all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do, and of what it may entail. Acilia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Uldar. Lamine? You built it once, Acilia. You can build it again, and this time, we'll do it together. Truly? Yes, child. Alphano, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldessian. Preparations begin at once. What was that exchange? More dialogue there would have been appreciated. 